Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. This time we're going over all the Marvel Legends figures I haven't reviewed yet in 2020, ranked from worst to best. Let's get to it. So here's Old Man Logan from the 2-pack with Old Man Hawkeye. And I'm not only really a fan of the look, I don't know if Logan would really wear a hat when he's older, but then again he's older, Old Man Logan. So there's that. I like this figure, but I'm not a big, huge fan of it. But let's take a look at this guy from the head going down. So the head, it's a nice portrait. Looks very grizzled. I'm kind of liking it better already now that I get a closer look at it. Looks very nice. The eyes are a little wide set. It's got a ball joint. Goes up this far. Crunches down to the chest pretty well. Goes back a nice amount. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like this shot. It looks pretty nice, like he's in his rocking chair or something. That's pretty good. Uh, chest crunch goes down this much. Doesn't go back too far because this coat's hindering it. Both arms go out, but they're hindered by the coat again. I like the coat too, by the way. Looks really nice. A lot of good seams around it. Nice detail, some holes and stuff on purpose. So with the bicep, double joint elbow, pretty good. Swivel, hinge, claws, they're okay. Taking that out, you can put another hand on. He comes with these gripping hands right here. I'm gonna port that one in, and then the other one. Port that one in. You can probably tell I haven't really touched this since I opened it. And you can have him holding a baby, and not just any baby, Baby Hulk. So that's kind of weird that he comes with Baby Hulk. Not really a big fan of this accessory, it's kind of a strange one for me. But it's okay, it's just Baby Hulk with a little purple pacifier. Nice detail on it, looks pretty good. Nice texturing on the blanket. Hair is nice. No greens, you know, coming through. Face looks good. Okay, so back to him. I'm just only really enthused by this guy. Sorry for the lackluster voicing and stuff. So here goes out this far. Not too bad. The coat again hinders it. The darn coat. The darn good looking coat. It's one of the reasons I like this guy, actually. The only reason, kind of. Swivel up here. Doesn't really touch the butt or anything. That coat again. No swivel down here. Pivot and down and up. And that's it. Yeah, lackluster kind of figure. Doesn't really come with too much stuff. Baby Hulk, just okay. Also, it comes with another head. I can't find it for the life of me, but here's what it would look like, kind of, I guess. I like this better. Shoot, do I like this better? I don't know. I like this head a lot. This is from the uh, Old Man Logan. The other one. Yeah, there's your headless Old Man Logan. Pretty good figure. Not my favorite, but moving on. Old Man Logan stands at about 5 and 3 quarters inches tall. Here's Old Man Logan standing next to the previous Old Man Logan from way back when, like in 2016 or so. I actually like this one way better. The gold buckle looks really good. The jacket's way better. The face sculpt's amazing. So yeah, that's Old Man Logan next to the other Old Man Logan and Jesse Heck Creative. Stealing a baby, so I'm gonna get stabbed today. Do, 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 do. Stealing a baby, so I'm gonna get stabbed today. Iron Man 2020. If there were ever a figure to horribly remind us of this year. This came out before the whole pandemic thing started. And it just is a sign of things to come in the year. This is a complete reuse, mostly... We got these gear pieces, these cogs, but they don't really add anything. The face is kind of weird too, so let's start with that. The eyes are offset, not really that great. The mouth, what are they doing with that kind of thing? Ay ay ay. Sorry this is kind of negative, but I don't know. I'm just not really driving with this guy. I like the color scheme. It's a good color scheme. That's alright to my me, but the rest, let's go over him. Head goes down, head goes up, swivel on the ball, that's normal. A little bit of tilt here and there. This pad is sort of, I guess, glued on. I'm not going to really touch it. You can kind of take it off a little bit, but it's kind of malleable. Chest crunch down and back really far. That's standard for your Iron Man figure. 
goes up all the way around. Swivel over here. Bicep. Almost punched himself in the head. Bear on the bicep. Not too great. Swivel at the hand. We also have alternate hands for repulsor blasts and stuff. We have two repulsor blasts right here. And we'll get to the last effect when we get to it. The feet go out this much, but you're going to be bending this, so that's not really, you know, advised. This moves up a little bit, up and down a tiny bit, but whatever, I guess. Oh, and I mentioned these go down and then up. All right, swivel over here. And we have the does not touch the butt over there. That's a shame. Swivel over here at the bottom. Down, up, and pivot. Two peg holes at the bottom of the feet, and the reason being for that is that we have this effect right here. It's new for the year. It's really nice, but they can do better, and they actually did do better. It fits right here like this. You go down, and you get the two uh, repulsors that attach to the top. One for one side, one for the other. And then you put that in there, and you got to put his feet on there, and it's kind of tough and a little bit tricky, but once you sort of mash his feet onto these pegs, and they don't really hold too much either. You can keep him, but how long will he stay? Or how long will he stand on this? So yeah, that looks nice. It's good, but we can do a little bit better than that. Take this off. Being careful to not... Yep, that usually happens. That's, that's a real bad problem with this guy. That he usually falls over a lot and messes everything up. Take this piece off. And yeah, it's, it's kind of a very loosey-goosey kind of figure. Putting on the repulsor blasts to make him look pretty cool. I like this design here. That's intricate, but why have it? I don't think you even need it at all to make the figure good. You just need to have a good figure. And so far, this isn't really the model of a good figure. Putting that on there. That looks nice. I don't know how long it's going to stand, but it looks nice, I guess. Arno Stark is passable. He's just a passable figure. The Iron Man 2020. Ooh, yeah. It's just a passable figure. Not my favorite. Not my least. It's not, not my favorite at all. It, it's kind of my least favorite of the exclusives that came out this year. But we can do way better. Arno Stark stands at six and a half inches tall, and then he stands at nine and a half inches tall with the boosters. Here's Iron Man 2020 Arno Stark next to his, I think, great great grandfather or something, Tony Stark in the Iron Man 80th anniversary armor. Again. This figure is amazing, as I've been saying before. He's wonderful and great. And yeah, pick that one up. But don't pick up the Iron Man 2020. It's just a reminder of a bad figure and a bad year. And also, here's Jesse Heck Creative. Wait, let me get this straight. If time travel rules apply, if you're here and you're here, then shouldn't that mess up the time stream or have one of you disappear or something? Huh, I guess so. So next up is Gambit. I like this Gambit, but I'm kind of torn. We have the other Gambit over here, and I don't know which one I like better. It's weird. They are both the same kind of character functionally, yet I'm not sure. I like this one personally, but this one shows up better on camera. I like the hair on this one better. I like the coloring on this one better, but the black is better on this one. It's... I don't know. I don't even know who Gambit is anyways. He's Cajun or something. I gotta watch the animated series and catch up. Maybe read a comic or two, I don't know. On one hand, I like the skin tone better on this one, but I like the face on this one better. The expression. The 5 o'clock shadow. Yeah, it's a toss-up. I don't know, I might just interchange and swap gambits, but let's get to our articulation and stuff. So, the head goes down this far, up this far, around, shoulder goes up, around all the way, swivel up here, Single jointed elbow, 90 degrees, swivels around, kind of loose. Goes around like this, up and down for the staff holding hand. And the crunch right here goes down, really far, back, not too much. Swivel, legs go out, kind of. Mm, they go up farther if you didn't have that jacket there. Goes up, swivels all the way around knee goes in really nice really nice so was it the boot cuff down up and pivot and pig holes also yeah good figure not great let's go over accessories real quick 
we have cards right here and then cards for the old one so we have blue and black on the inside and the new one is I think is a little superior because we have these cards that are painted instead of these so these are a little more energy cards these are regular cards we also have more cards over here we have from the new one from the old one a little lighter pink a little darker pink kind of like that trade off a little bit we have all four suits of the card right over here and last we have staffs very subtle difference and it's hard to tell in the light in the camera right now they look functionally the same but I know there's some kind of at least difference or whatever in them moving around the new one has, the, has these little holes right here that are closer to the top the old one has little holes right here closer to the middle of the staff so that's the middle of the section at least that's interesting I guess the staff can go in his hand pretty easily as can his card go between his fingers if you want it works out pretty well for me at least pretty good figure not my favorite X-Men at least Gambit's pretty cool though yeah Gambit Gambit stands at about six and a half inches tall I'm still torn on these Gambits, but I'm actually leaning towards the retro one a little bit more. So here's Gambit, next to the original Gambit, and Jesse Heck Creative. Play cards with me? No sir! You want to play with Maverick over here? He's a regular James Garner. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So, Starboost Iron Man. I like this figure. He's not my favorite. The gold's okay. The gray's okay. It just doesn't really ring too many good bells to me. I like the accessories, but it doesn't really fully make the figure. It's the look that makes the figure. I like the red on it. That's nice. But the gray is sort of too gray. The gold isn't gold enough. And the white is a nice pearly white that's really good. Nice face. The red's good too. But it just doesn't really make a cohesive whole to me. So, let's go over him. Down on the head, up on the head, not really that great range here for this guy to start off with. Swivel over here, up, stop by this thing, around, stop by this thing again, this little shoulder pauldron. The elbows go up pretty okay. Swivels around, down, not too much up. Nice little armor on here, that's pretty nice at least. Goes down a good amount, back really far, that's good for some flight poses and stuff goes out here, swivels up here, swivels down here, no swivel down here, goes up not too far, swivel, kinda, and then pivot, kinda. A lot of hindrances, it's not really the most aerodynamic kind of thing, even though it's star boost and space and whatnot, but yeah, let's just uh, go over the accessories real quick. Here he is with flight accessories. They make him look pretty nice, actually. When he's in flight, he looks really good. He's pretty cool when he's flying, but when he's standing, not so much. Not a great kind of figure, at least. You gotta pose him a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Get some good flight poses there. I'm not sure if these flight pieces are exact to the figure. I just put him in a box and I cut the figure, put him on my shelf. Now I'm reviewing him. They're good effects. I... They look pretty much the same to me. The hands, you can actually take that off. Down, up, swivel. Similar articulation to what's before. I actually like these hands, I think, the most out of the, out of sort of any Iron Man hands we've gotten lately. Yeah, pretty good figure. Uh, not the best, but just okay, I guess. It's, an, it's a Hall of Armor filler, let's call him that. Zoom. Star Boost Iron Man stands at about six and a quarter inches tall. Here's Game Reverse Star Boost Iron Man next to another Game Reverse Iron Man, the regular one. I like the look of the regular one, but not the face. If they change faces, it'd be way better. The first one looks more alien anyways. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Thanks for hitting up my popcorn for me. So next up is Negative Zone Spider-Man, and while I like him, I just have seen this body way too much. It's been used as Spider-Man since like the dawn of time. I thought it would end this year with the release of that new Spider-Man with the 
retro card, but we're back again with this one. So let's get to this guy. So it's basically black and white. I like the symbol here. I like the symbol here. It reminds me kind of like the Spider-Man in the MCU a little bit. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just go over this guy. Down, up, around. This is your basic Spider-Man articulation. Up, around. Pretty good. Around on this one, too. And then up over here. I like that sort of pins are kind of... I'm uh, not black and white on either side, but... Whatever, it kind of fits the theme a little bit. Good elbow range on that. Swivel over here. Up, down really well. He also comes with a requisite amount of hands for Spider-Man, at least. Two thwip hands, two fists, and two spread out hands, which is great. I wish all Spider-Man would have that. But why this one? I don't get why this one. It just makes sense. Swivel over here. Crunch. Not too far down. Not too... Wow, that's not really that great. Wait, missing something here? I guess. Legs go out. Pretty okay. Retire this, Buck Hasbro. Please. This body isn't that great. Around on this. Let's check this out. Oh, pretty good. Wow, really nice. Look at that knee. No swivel here. I wish there was. Down here. Up here. And ankle pivot and peg holes. He also comes with negative pizza, which is nice, I guess. Kind of like an Oreo pizza or something. Or a cookies and cream pizza, if you will. It's an okay figure. Not my favorite. Reused buck. We get a lot of hands for him, which is nice. And we get the negative pizza, but it should be more. I don't know. Are we missing something? Uh, maybe a web strand or something, or even a weird accessory. I don't know. They look is look good, but looks good, but you know, Spider Verse fodder. There's Iron Man Hall of Armor fodder, and there's Spider Verse fodder. So yeah, this goes into the Spider Verse fodder pile. Not too exciting that is. Negative Zone Spider Man stands at about six inches tall. Here's Negative Zone Spider Man next to the Deadpool back in black version that I kit bashed and Jesse Heck Creative. I know your name is Negative Spider-Man, but have you tried being more positive? So having just binge-watched the Spider-Man animated series on Disney+, Plus, and by the way, that's a really good show, the old one from 94 or so, I really like Black Cat a lot as a character. The transformation from Felicia Hardy all the way to Black Cat is wonderful, and let's go over this figure. So I love how it looks, the spinning image of the animated show, it's fantastic. I like how they got rid of the blue and moved to a little gray wash on the fur pieces and the hair. Looks very nice. Let's go over this figure. The head's really great too. You get some nice shine and gloss on that mask. And not too much on the face either. They really worked on that matte versus wash gloss thing. The hair looks excellent. Looks really nice. Really great wash on that. The posability is just okay. It's kind of fair. No ball joint. Just a ball joint. No hinge or anything. But it works very well. Not too much up. Not too much down. You can go around a little bit. The collar, I believe, is removable on the bottom. That's pretty cool. It's a little spike choker there with a little bu buckle. That's very nicely detailed. The body looks very nice, at least. They got rid of the fur over here. I'm fine with that, having watched the show recently. That works for me. It's one big sort of just ball, ball piece. That's it. It's a ball peg. Works really well. Goes back this far. Goes forward this far. Around if you want. Swivel. No way swivel, at least goes up on the arm this much, around on the on the elbow, no bicep swivel or anything. Goes down and up this much on this. You sort of roll the dice motion over here. On this hand you get the clawing motion, I believe. Oh you get the same one actually. So they're both roll the dice motion hands. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Swivels around on both. Works very well. Watch out for these joints. They can be kind of tough to move sometimes. So to the legs, out, and then up. Very good range. Back not too far. Goes back. It's hindered by this fur piece. Goes down. No swivel over here. Down, up, pivot, peg holes. So let's check out the accessories. She comes with this whip with a white end over here. It's nice, and it comes with a little claw on the end over there. We also have a little cat that she comes with. It's really cute. She can hold the cat in her arms. Hold the cat in one arm is probably. It's really cute. Comes with a little pawing thing. It's a redo of Groot of Goose from Captain Marvel. That's pretty nice. The whip actually fits in her hand quite well. And yeah, she's ready with her little little cat right there. <laughs> That's good. The cat has nice eye paint on it. Looks really good. Very shiny and stuff. 
Black Cat's a really good figure, and if you don't have the other one, I'd pick her up. But I pick her up anyways because she looks great. Otherwise, also I gotta mention I like the eyeshadow. It's good too on her. The lipstick looks well applied. It's a great figure and worth the purchase. Black Cat stands at about just six inches tall, maybe five and three quarters. So here we have Black Cat next to the previous Black Cat from the Ultimate Goblin Wave back in 2014. Disney would never allow this figure to fly nowadays. I really like the new figure, how it fits in with the newer Hasbro offerings. The old figure is good if you want a more classic version, but the new one is good if you want a more animated version or at least something a little more updated to the current Hasbro standard. I like the white whip better than the black whip. It has more panache in the figure. And just overall it looks good. I don't think the blue hair really jives with the new one anyways. And also here we have Jesse Heck Creative. I wish my brother George was here. Guys, I gotta stop playing. There's a cat on the piano. So a lot of you complaining about this figure being next. I don't blame you. I think Old Man Hawkeye is really good too. But I like the other figures better. Let's go over this guy. He's good for like a Whistler custom. He's great for all his stuff he comes with. All the bows, the satchel, everything. Let's go over that. The different heads. This head right over here is great. I love the detail on it. Looks really nice. You get some nice wash on the hair. It's really good. You can go down this much, up this much. Good beard, good eyes. This is great for a bunch of different characters. I can see why people use it for different figures and stuff like Magneto or anybody else at least. The body goes down this much, up this much, fair amount. Butterfly joint over here that's really nice to see. Goes up, goes down, all the way around. Swivels up over here. Nice. We also have no joint, no pins by the way. No pins on here. No pins on here. Pinless entirely. I love it. That's really cool. Kills my kit bashing stuff, but whatever. Goes up and down over here on the hand. It swivels around. This hand goes up and down on a hinge over here. I can make it work. I haven't touched this guy in a while, so forgive me for the loose joints. I'm just gonna, or at least tight joints I haven't touched in a bit. But yeah, this hand is kind of stiff. I may have to heat up later. But it goes up and down the roll of the dice motion. It's fine. Usual, at least, for Marvel Legends. So it was around here. It goes out this far, up this far, back not too much. Eh, pretty good, actually. Actually, pretty good back. Goes up, goes down, swivel with the boot. Goes down, goes up, pivot, and peg holes the bottom of the feet. Don't get me wrong, it's a good figure, but, you know, it, it can be a little, I don't know, not better. I just don't, I'm not, I'm personally not a fan. That's it. That's all it is. I'm personally not a fan of Old Man Hawkeye, I guess. I really read the comics. I like all the stuff he comes with. This bow, this bow and arrow little holder is great. Plug it into his back. It works out well. That's pretty cool. He comes with the satchel. You can also put that on him as well. Kind of. I think I'm doing it wrong or something. I was going to put it in his hand. There we go. Squeeze it around his hair a little bit. And have that fall off. You can probably only have one or two things at a time. Oh, I have it the wrong way. That's why. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little thing in the back. Well, you can have it go either way. Whatever works. Whatever this back on. They give him a bow, or you can have this bow that's already drawn, which is pretty cool. I don't think he comes with an arrow, but here's an arrow at least inside the bow. You can have him hold it and aim it somewhere if you want. Looks pretty neat. He also comes with an alternate head. This is stuff from the Wolverine right here, these hands, and this is from the Professor X. I call this guy the Benefactor. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he wants, but he's the Benefactor. I don't know. He's in the shadows. And Probably funding some evil experiment. Pretty good head over here. Sunglasses and beard and little ponytail hair. It's pretty nice. Looks good. He's a good figure. Like, not my favorite favorite, but he has good articulation, no pins, and he's a step up for Marvel Legends. So, yeah. Old Man Hawkeye. Good figure. Not my favorite. Moving on. Old Man Hawkeye stands about six and a quarter inches tall. Here's Old Man Hawkeye with the vintage carded Hawkeye and Jesse Heck Creative. What do you mean I get the little one? What is this, a toy? So that's my review of almost all these action figures. Stay tuned for part two tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.